Ah, hi all, and welcome back to the John Deere B tractor restoration. And in the last video, I was talking about uh, reproduction pistons and high compressions and kerosene and engine knock. And I'd met, taken the decision to try and reduce the height of some reproduction pistons that I got. And as you can see there, I think you can see, <laughs> is the cast iron one, original, two reproductions, middle one having eight millimeters taken off the top of it on the lathe. Um, top is now a flat top, as opposed to this one here, which has had a very slight dish in it. Uh, I don't think it'll be, make our problem at all, um, but I don't take any more off. We are getting into the realms of um, going too far beyond the point I've gone to. And so hopefully that will just reduce the compression ratio in the engine a little bit and therefore stop the pinking and knocking when the tractor runs on uh, kerosene. Um, worst case scenario, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> uh, best case scenario is it works. So, as I say, we're going to do the next one now. So I'm going to take the top off this one. Um, we have a mark on it somewhere. There it is. I'll go to that mark somewhere near and then finally measure it up um, to, uh, to match this one. I've weighed them both. Well, in standard, they weigh um, 1.704 kilo uh, grams, 1,704 grams, and after I've machined them, they weigh 1,571 grams. Um, so in the maths, we're taking off about 130, 32, 33 grams. So we need to get them somewhere near the same weight. I don't know if it matters that much, but. Hopefully we will. So I'm going to take this round to here. So, uh, there's the old case in the gloom. Nothing much has happened to that in the last day or two. So round onto the lathe. I'm going to set you up on the on here if we can. So just bear with. And there we go. So I'm going to drop this in the lathe here. Right then, I've trued it all up before we started, so uh, it'll spin nice. That's all correct. In the tailstock in. There we go. Lock that off. There we are. There we have it. So I have a telltale mark there and on there. So if I happen to take the uh, piston out for any reason, I know roughly where it goes back on the four jaw. And uh, because obviously we're taking metal off the top and we're going to lose some of the printing, I've marked that piston there as a T, although I do know that these grooves go to the top of the piston of the cylinder anyway. Uh, they help with oiling though, so there's oil comes out of these and then flows down the sides of the piston when it's actually running inside the engine. But now that T there is just to remind me where the top is. So I'm just going to put you back over here again and I'll set the lathe away. I'm going to set it away. So a light cut initially. A light cut initially, I think. 
so I can uh, work this out. Hopefully that will start cutting. Set it away there. Aha! That's a very light cut. And the fact that it's not cutting. <laughs> We'll just dial in a bit more. There we go. This is going out. Again, quite a light cut. We really need to see where we are, to be honest. Just stop it a minute. Yeah, that's interesting. Isn't sitting just maybe where I would like to see it sitting. So, yeah. Anyway, that's the process. That's all I've been doing. Um, I just need to square that piston up a bit more in there. I don't think I've got it just quite sitting right. So, yeah, so there you go. As I say, I'll cut it off, cut the, take the top off down to these marks here, and that'll give me my 8mm. And um, that should reduce the compression a little bit. And we'll see if it works. As I say, it's, I don't think it's going to be detrimental to the pistons. I can't see it really in this application hurting them, having a bit taken off the top. So, yeah. Okay then. Thank you. Bye.